Well, Mark Davis didn't get much of a look in in that first frame. Gary Wilson, 72 break, uh, very swiftly made, made it 1-0 to him. Not his first TV appearance, by the way. His first TV appearance, Gary Wilson, he was nine. He was junior, big break. Big break was a game show in the UK, and they had a few junior editions, and he was on it. They repeated occasionally on uh, various satellite channels in the... It's a very popular program. It'd be nice if it made a comeback. You would have been on it a few times, Mike. I did the big break. I'm not about the junior one. I did the no. junior, <laughs> junior pot red. Um, but I did the big break a few times with uh, John Virgo and Jim Davis. And that was great fun. Hang on. Mm. Yeah, he's just put his hand up there. I don't think he played that. That was a fluke. Playing the junior pot red, I think it was at the Wembley Conference Centre. I was about 15. Jimmy White, Tony Mayo, Danny Ads, and a few others to mention. Well, he did flute the red, and he's looking to take full advantage. Cracking pot on the brown, and uh, well, he's seen Gary Wilson dish up in no time at all. Mark Davis looking to do the same. And it may be because they both qualified, they are just going to attack here. There's no reason not to, really. There's no point getting involved in a, in a long grind. It was certainly a successful trip last year, not just here for Mark Davis. Before the six reds, he got to the semi-finals of the Wushy Classic. He won this and then went to Australia for the Australian Open, got to the semi-finals there. So he came back with his part of a hundred thousand pounds. Better off. Turned out okay. Twenty one played well in the first, but he's having to sit this one out. Yes, it was a little fluke from Davis to get in, but it was a good brown, and you know you can just see he's in the mood to attack here today. It's a lovely trophy, and uh, I'm sure it's looked uh, nice on the mantelpiece the last 12 months. Well, this is frame ball. Well played. Well, both uh, had good visits uh, in the early encounters in this one. This to really make sure, though. I think as the matches have progressed with the groups, the, uh, the standard has gone up slightly. The, the boys are all showing good form. It's going to be very interesting towards the end of this week. Well, yes, OK, we did mention he's got the fluke on the red, but uh, there's been nothing wrong with the rest of it. Well, in some ways, he's the man to beat, not Gary Wilson, Mark Davis. You know, he's uh, won this title twice. 
two different countries. <laughs> well, not quite a, as decisive a fluke. There's Dominic Dale. He's in this group. He's beaten the two of them. He's already qualified, but he's uh, just sitting watching. Yes, the first fluke was the key one because that got him in on the red. But uh, it's a great break again, this. Well, terrific stuff from both of them. Gary Wilson ran through the first, Mark Davis has run through the second, and it's one all.